this is the moment in like 1995 or when the internet sort of blew up or in 2007, 2008 when mobile blew up. This is what it's feeling like. Um, and really the gateway drug has been the NFTs. Uh, one of the best examples is NBA Top Shot. Uh, basically digital cards that you can get. Uh, it's, it's supported by the blockchain where they authenticate these cards. Uh, which basically means they've created artificial scarcity around these digital cars. So right now, this thing started like um, seven, eight months ago. Um, a LeBron James digital card, uh, uh, one of his moments, one of his blocks, is actually worth $100,000 right now. This thing started six months ago. And listen, this is the reason why I put my Luka Doncic a three-pointer in game six of the Clippers series up for $250,000 US. By the way, this was my, my favorite moment ever. I remember sitting down, uh, watching him nail this OT winner, and I literally tweeted, bang! To me, this is one of the best moments on NBA Top Shot right now. And I love the NFT market because what they have really done is they are building scarcity with these digital cards. We all want to feel special, respected. Uh, we all love status and scarcity. Um, those are embedded in our DNA. Um, if you look at every single technology company and how they have grown and how they have created scale, it's through this idea of status and scarcity. You know, you look at, for example, Facebook. Uh, when Facebook started, you needed a Harvard email to sign up. Uh, when Uber started, they started with a black car in San Francisco. If you look at one of the hottest uh, social apps right now, Clubhouse, it is still invite only. If you look at TikTok, they created this inequality with their creators. You know, some creators, they become behemoths. So this idea of creating status is, is so key to creating growth, especially for these tech companies.